I think we should just get right to it. Yesterday at this time, we were uh, reintroducing Josh uh, to the show and uh, <laughs> pointing out that Josh had missed some important stuff in the news. And did we ever, I know we mentioned the socks thing. And did we ever ask you, do you wear socks to bed? You did? No, I do not wear socks to bed. Willie? Um, if, it, if I'm in a really cold place, like my heat was out, I wear socks to bed then. But typically, no. I like a, I like a sock off, and I like a, one foot or one <laughs> even couple toes poked out of the blanket. Oh, my sister used to do that. Stay a little cold. Get a little yeah. breeze going in. Yeah, I... Um, I'm a sock wearer. I know a guy in college that no matter how cold it was, this was in New York City, would always have a window open. It could be mm. zero outside. Eek. But um, this particular article we were talking about it mentions that uh, almost one in five people sleep in their socks. And there was, there was kind of a side thing that I thought was really fascinating. This, this university study said that um, you're more likely to orgasm with socks on. Yep. Now, Josh, I want to clarify, this is socks on your feet. And oh. Not, not, not orgasming them. In and, the and socks. Thank you, thank you, good, Christine. Yeah. <laughs> Very helpful. Uh, but it says people who wear socks to bed wake up fewer times at night. And uh, the average uh, person sleeps 32 minutes longer if they're wearing socks. But they also say in this article that you must wear clean socks to bed rather than wearing the ones you had on all day. Mm. Do they have any science behind this? Is it a circulation yeah. issue? Is it a heat? Bacterial. Oh, yeah, a that's a good question. I don't know. This, but this oh, you mean oh, the other stuff. I think yeah. it keeps your feet warm because I am, you know, I don't think my blood pumps all the way down to my feet. I don't know what happens. But huh. Yeah. Uh, I have special sleep socks. Oh, that's uh, nice. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. They're just for sleeping. How many really? pairs do you have? Do you, do you wash three. them? Three. Nice. And you I rotate? have three. Do they have like like sleep like pillows? <laughs> no, <laughs> like but they're kind of... little sheep on them you can mount. <laughs> 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 no, they're a little um, heftier and warmer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interesting. But I just thought it was fascinating that they have this statistic that you're more likely to orgasm with socks on. Yeah, maybe it's a comfort thing or a... Uh, I don't know. Just, who knows? You're already hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know. I just was... If anybody has any thoughts on this, please let me know. You ever sleep in socks, Tom? I don't. Yeah, no. I can't. I don't either. It messes with my web feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's attractive. <laughs> and then, Christy, I, I was not feeling feeling well on Monday, and, and I, I mis completely misunderstood Christy. What do you mean? But I think maybe you, you, Pat, I don't know, Willie, maybe you're with me on this, Ace. Christy said her mother told her not to wear panties at night. Right. I thought you meant it right. and in the evening. Did anyone else think that that meant... Okay, get home from work and take off the no, panties. No, at you know. night when you're sleeping. At, at, oh. What did you, Pat? I thought it was in the evening, not sleeping, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't perceive it as a sleeping thing. horny all the time. Oh, I am. <laughs> and I thought it was for bedtime. You, Thank wait, you, Did Ace. you pick up the bed thing? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Well, I was not feeling well, so. Um, but your mother told you you do not sleep in your underwear. Correct. You got to let it breathe. Boy, hope it doesn't let, snore. <laughs> let it breathe. I think we're done. Christy, I like to wear I like to wear boxers and not boxer briefs for the same reason when I sleep. See? I, I like to, things to be kind of yeah. I like a breeze to be able to go in and out down there. Yep. Measure. You guys I'm I'm naked every night. Yeah, me too. I don't sleep with anything on. I, guess. I get naked? too mafo. I'm too mafo. weird about ass matter uh getting in the bed sheets. Uh, oh boy, oh do you boy. Shower, do you shower right before? Are you is that a tear of pride? Uh, I see. Like, like father, like son. <laughs> yeah. I, I literally, I literally was going to say I have. That's why I had my hand up. Yes, yes. ass matter. I no. worry about that too because you, you sweat at night. You shower and... right before bed. Yeah, it's occasionally, not every night. So you'll potentially be setting up things in the garden, raking the lawn, and then you'll go inside. No. If I do stuff like that, it's a shower. Okay, cool. If I do nothing, it's not a shower. Okay. You yeah. used to sleep naked, I thought. Yeah, and then I've develop you know. an aversion to oh, ass yeah. matter <laughs> all very clean yeah. I, I, medical aversion and, and to I, ass matter and i don't sleep on my back so i i'm not either no on my but side it's or ace I'll, I'll, without going into too much detail um if you have uh, white or light sheets yeah and say you do it like a little scoot to get out of bed and then oh, you go to make the bed the next day and it looks like there's a, hey look the 20 yard line is now a little <laughs> That no, doesn't I, <laughs> and you're the king of wipes, so uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I did the thorough, but yeah, I, I guess. Now, Josh, what was the phrase you used? I'm naked every night. Is that what you king said? Yeah. Could you title your next album? I'm naked. I'm every naked night? every night. Sure, naked every night. 
I like that. <laughs> be, that'd be great. Is part of you worried about a home invasion at all, and then you have to wake up and get to action? I have not considered a home invasion, but I have considered a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you keep pants right by the bed? Nah, the closet's, uh, I mean, I don't All know, right. 15, 20 feet away from I it. have told this story many times, and Chuck, Chuck Rear, he'd be bored already, but the very short version is the uh, very first time um, I went to a particular place, it happened to be Beaver Creek, Colorado, and uh, it was a brand new hotel. It had just opened. Right. And... Um, it was uh, extremely cold. I, mean, I remember, this puts a date on it, seeing former President Gerald Ford oh. light the Christmas tree, and it was, <laughs> which was super, super cool. And uh, I don't care what your politics are. You got it's, you, you have to be respectful to whoever. And um, but we w went to bed, mm -hmm. and in the middle of the night, the fire alarm went off. Ugh. And uh, my nieces, Daisy and Poppy, were in the next, next room. So the fire alarm's going off, and it's, it was literally 17 degrees below zero. I'll, I'll never forget it. And um, so I had no clothes on, but I wanted to make sure that the girls were going to awake because they were at the time, you know, teenagers, whatever. Right. So I rushed to the door, not thinking because the fire alarm's going on. I go out in the hallway, door shuts. I'm naked, beating on the door of two teenage girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the place wasn't on fire. What had happened was the pipes had frozen and uh. you know, set all the alarms off and... <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, lesson there, yeah, maybe you want to have a towel or something right by the bed if you're a naked sleeper. Yeah. But if you have a naked sleeping adventure story, by all means, let us know. Uh, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com.